NatWest could be facing a significant fine in the fallout with this Nigel Farage banking saga because Chancellor Jeremy Hunt has now stepped in and has written to the FCA. So let's take a closer look at what's happening now. Welcome back to the channel. So GB News reports that uh, Jeremy Hunt has written to the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, which is the regulatory body for banking in the financial sector, about what's happened with Nigel Farage's bank accounts. Uh, he spoke to GB News uh, saying as follows, that this case is a chilling reminder of what society could be heading towards without the freedom of speech, referring, of course, to uh, Nigel Farage's views and anyone else's views for that matter and whether they should have an impact on them holding a bank account. What I would say, he says, as a major shareholder of NatWest, which of course it's, uh, what is it, 38.6%, um, we were very concerned about this error of judgment, he said. In a free society, being able to say what you believe is a fundamental human right, and in the modern world we all need bank accounts. Just pausing there, yes it is a fundamental human right, it is a protected freedom of speech, but just be careful on defamation when you... Uh, speak badly about somebody, there could be implications of what you say, albeit you still have the right to freedom of speech. You don't have the freedom from consequences, but that we cover in other videos. Moving on, he said, so if you have to worry about what you might be expressing of you, that in someone in the bank doesn't agree with you, you could lose your bank account. That has a chilling effect on free speech. That is not acceptable. It's also against the banking regulations. It's effectively against the law, which it is. I've said that several times now. Uh, so today I've written to the regulator that has the power to put big fines on the banks, of course, referring to the Financial Conduct Authority. The FCA is the financial regulatory body in the UK, which has the ability to impose fines on banks for wrongdoing. It works independently of the government, as every regulator should. Uh, Jeremy Hunt then went on to say that he wants to find out whether or not this is a widespread theme within the banking community, it sounds like it is from uh, what Nigel Farage has uncovered with thousands of people. And indeed, I can put my hand up to say that, I, if I can bring it on screen, I can put my hand up to say that I've had clients come to us, as I've said many times by now, that have had exactly this problem and there's very little they could do about it. Uh, and what are we going to do about it, he said, to make sure that banks obey the law. The reality is, he goes on, that NatWest got this wrong, plain and simple. The board has taken action. Uh, what I'm now wanting to make sure is that this isn't more widespread because I think it would be a very, very big step in the wrong direction and we need to stamp it out. So I suspect that this is going to go on much further. This is me talking now. I suspect this is going to go on much further because I personally think this is widespread. Not speaking specifically about NatWest, do you understand? I think generally in the banking industry, it is probably widespread. Um, and we're, going, we're obviously going to find out as more information is uncovered. And so closing this out... Um, Farage said on GB News that the new CEO of Coots, uh, Mo Sayed, somebody who's held very senior positions within the bank, is now the boss and written to him to say that he can now keep both his personal and his bank accounts. That's good, and I thank him for it. So at least the bank has taken positive steps in the right direction, and hopefully they will take many more steps in that direction and uh, prevent this from happening again. But as I said, if you've had this problem yourself, you can either get in touch with me or you can get in touch with uh, Nigel Farage by his website. I think it's accountclosed.org. I will try to remember to link that in the description below. But as I've said previously, it does look like there's going to be more fallout from this for the banks because this has been quite a significant uh, step for the banks to face. And I, for one, hope that it uh, is investigated properly and doesn't happen to anybody else. So let me know in the comments, has this happened to you? Have you had problems with your banks? I'm going to do some segments talking about mortgages as well, because I think that is a very difficult area for lots of people. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I thank you for watching.